Greetings and welcome to another session of Visio Divina as we're looking at the stained glass windows here in the Snellville United Methodist Church Sanctuary. I am Tracy rollins Seaver, Associate Pastor here at the church, and it has been my privilege and my honor to look at these windows, to take a closer look as we try to see how God is speaking to us through art. Today we'll be looking at the cross and the lilies. And as I was looking at this window, it seemed appropriate as we begin this month of February, as we're approaching the season of Lent, Lent beginning on, on um, Ash Wednesday, which is February the 22nd this year. As we begin that season of Lent, we journey with Jesus to the cross. So as we're looking at this stained glass window in particular, we're reminded of not only the resurrection of Jesus and the celebration of the resurrection, but we also are very mindful of the, of the journey that Christ took to the cross out of God's ultimate and, and eternal love for each one of his children, us. So as we're looking at the window, we see the, the cross um, and it looks almost like it could be a wooden cross. There's the pale brown and, and that look of wood making me think of the cross that Jesus was um, hanging on. It was a simple cross, a simple structure. It was actually believed that instead of the cross like we imagine the cross to be, it was more like a T-shaped. Um, so that's a different kind of image for us, but we are used to this, this shape of the cross. On the cross, on this wooden cross, there's lilies. And the lilies always remind us of Easter, but the lilies here are white with yellow center, with green, light and, and darker leaves. And if you'll notice on the cross, some of the lilies are opened wide while some of them are still closed. Some of them have begun to open, but not fully. And it made me think of the fact that each one of us blooms at a different pace. Some of us are fully in bloom with our, with our maturity and our spiritual walk. But most of us, most of us are, are just barely opening, starting to opening, um, forming. It just made me think of our spiritual journey and how each one of us is different, but how patient our God is in the process. As I was looking at the window, I looked at the background and in, in our photo, um, it looks very pale pink. It's like the sun is setting, maybe. There's grays and some clear. And in the clear, as I was looking at the window in the picture, through the clearness of the window, it was as if the sun from the outside was, was shining through. The window, of course, reminds us of Easter, the, the resurrection of Jesus, our Savior. But we are also an Easter people. We as Christians, as we come into worship each and every Sunday, we're an Easter people because we know the glory of the resurrection. We know the fact that Jesus rose from the dead, and because of the resurrection, we have the promise and the hope of eternal life. The Son, Jesus the Son, helps to, to lighten up even our darkest days. The sun reminds us that each day is, is a day to come, to begin anew, to celebrate with our journey with Christ our Savior. The lilies are always a beautiful sight here at our church sanctuary, as in many church sanctuaries. But we, we see those beautiful flowers on Easter Sunday, and we are reminded that the beauty that is around us is the beauty that God has provided for us. So whether you're fully in bloom, whether you're still emerging, whether your, uh, your bud is there and it's just waiting for the sun to shine just right. We are all on this spiritual journey with Christ. Some of us skipping, some of us walking, some of us kind of barely taking those baby steps. 
Some of us making a step back, some of us going forward, but we're on this journey with Christ and this journey that we have with him, we are not doing alone. We are meant to be together. That's part of worship. And we are meant to do life together as a people, as children of God, as a community, and as a church. The legend of the Easter lily is this. I, saw, I found this on, on the United Methodist uh, Church um, page at umc.org. It said, according to the legend of the Easter lily, it says that when Jesus was praying in the Garden of Gethsemane, the flowers were bowed, were bowing their heads in grief and, and piety, but the proud lily would not bow its lovely white head. The next day, the lily discovered that Jesus was going to be crucified, and the flower felt so miserable about how it had acted that it bowed its head in shame. To honor the Lord Jesus and to show its sorrow, the lily has grown with a downturned bloom ever since that first Good Friday. Of course, that's a legend. A legend that I found on um, umc.org. The legend of the Easter lily. Maybe it's to remind us that we are to come to God with a humble heart, realizing that we have to rely completely and fully on Him. Now, there was a few Bible passages that came to mind as I was looking at this window. And one of the ones that came to mind was the fact that sometimes we worry about things that maybe are beyond our control. I don't know. Maybe that's just me. But when we look at Matthew 6, verses 28 through 30, we're reminded of something very powerful. And why do you worry about clothing? Consider the lilies of the field, how they grow, they neither toil nor spin. Yet I tell you, even Solomon in all his glory was not clothed like one of these. But if God so clothes the grass of the field, which is alive today and tomorrow is thrown into the oven, will he not much more clothe you, you of little faith? So maybe as we're looking at the Easter lilies this Easter, maybe we're reminded that, that God cares about us so much. God cares about us so much that he sent his son Jesus loves us so much that he walked among us. He, he, he reached out to those that society said weren't worthy. But with the love that Jesus offers to each one of us, he considers us worth dying for. And even more, he, he considers us worthy of being with him eternally. What a blessing it is. So take a closer look at this stained glass window, the cross and the lilies, and maybe you will see God through it in a whole new way. Let us pray through the window as we take a closer look at the stained glass window. Let us pray together. Dear God, we come in grateful praise. We know that you are the God who allows us to bloom, to grow in our relationship with you. You provide what we need to be nourished on this spiritual journey with you. The rain that falls from the heaven and the sun that shines in the sky with the nourishment in the ground below us, we will grow. The beauty of the lily reminds us of eternal life and the blessing of the resurrection. As your son, Jesus Christ, rose from the grave, you have given us the gift of life with you in your kingdom. The cross is empty. The grave could not hold you. We worship a risen Savior. Amen. I'm so glad that you joined me once again as we took a closer look at the stained glass window here in our Snellville United Methodist Church sanctuary. The beauty is amazing and God can be seen in works of art and in the beauty of his creation. 
I hope you have a great day.